everybody. This is Ty back with another video. And just a little quick one, a little tip I have here. Um, if you have a game that uses a CD-ROM drive like this, um, one of the things that's kind of a pain is you want to put it on a board or some someplace secure or mount it actually in the cabinet. And uh, you might not have, always have a bracket, but what I found is you just take standard um, PCB feet like an arcade game would have and a long, I believe this is an M8, it could be an M6 um, screw, and you just put it in through the bottom like this all the way through and I put a nut there so I can lock it in place um, and so like you know you take the pardon me I'm gonna do this one-handed because I don't have a tripod yet for my camera so I put it in like this I'm using my uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 to record because it records 1080p versus my flip which has a mount but uh, I don't um, I'd rather, it's only 720p. So just keep going like that until it's all the way in, and then you put it on the other end, and you end up with something like this. And then you just go up to your CD-ROM drive, like this. Hold on, guys, I suddenly hit something, it turns in the way. Okay, so here is this, <laughs> here's the CD-ROM drive, guys, stop hitting buttons here. And we just thread it on like this. The only thing I have to say is that um, you got to be careful lengthwise, but mine just happened to be just the right length of that nut on there. Just gonna just spin this thing right on. Back up, give it a little better focus. go. You can adjust the nut so that it's nice and tight up against the bottom too. So there you go. There's two PCB feet. I'm going to put two on the bottom on the other end. And when it's done, it'll sit like this in the cabinet. Actually, I'm going to mount it around the board. And I'm going to do a short video. This is just keeping this short because I'm going to be doing another video very shortly. Thanks for watching.